All right, this is Firemine here, and today we are going to create a double jump for the third person controller from the standard assets. So, no paid assets in here, everything is for free, few lines of code, and you are going to be able to double jump. So, please enjoy. So we start off in this basic scene from the standard assets. You can find this scene if you go to the third person controller. In here we have absolutely nothing except for a few obstacles and the third person controller set up already. The first thing here that we want to do is we want to assign him a jump force of 10 so he jumps a little bit higher. You don't need to do that, but I just like it that way. You then want to go to edit script on your third person controller script. By the way guys, you can find all of this code on my website, firemindacademy.net. I do have a link to this specific tutorial in the description down below. So if you don't want to write any code, you can find this whole file on my website. So check out the description if you do not want to write any code yourself. From there you can just copy and paste it. In here, first thing we want to do is add a boolean, which is going to be called double jump possible. If it's a private variable, you always want to add a m in front of it to instantly see that's a private variable. We then want to go over in the code wherever we actually handle the jump. So the actual jump is initiated in the handle grounded movement and in there we check if the jump's possible. This code right here is what makes Ethan jump. However, since the double jump is going to be performed when we are in the air, we actually want to look at the handle airborne movement. We are now going to go into the handle airborne movement and also pass it the jump variable. So the handle airborne movement detects if a new jump request was submitted and may add the parameter to the function. and then check if the double jump is possible and if a jump was actually requested. And if that's the case, you can take the code from the jump and put it in a new function. I'm gonna call this function perform double jump. So you basically just need the code that you're also using in the jump itself. And if the double jump is not the case, the player is supposed to be acting as usual. Now copy the jump code into the perform double jump function. Now you want to add the double jump possible inside the jump function and set it to true. So if you are in the air, Jump, double jump is actually possible and then once you perform the double jump the double jump is no longer possible because it's a double jump and not a triple jump. And there you go, that's how you do a double jump. However to keep things nice and neat we do not want to repeat ourselves so we can't since we're using the same code in two functions we can create a new function called jump and then put all the code that is needed for jump in there and then just call that function from the other two functions. And that way we do not repeat ourselves, which is considered good practice in terms of coding. You want to check that you give your function names a capital letter in the beginning. And then that's it. That's nice and neat code and the double jump working. Now, I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments down below. And if you have any other tutorial requests... Can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic, and description for your request, and simply click on Make Request, and you're done. It's that easy. 
and with your request you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.